Hello, my Aries. Welcome back. All right, so we're looking into love today. I'm going to take a peek into the overall energy between you and the person on your mind or whoever it is that you're dealing with. Uh, this is a general reading, though, obviously, guys, so just take what resonates. It's not that serious. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, link to my website is in the description box below. Um, I'm getting, like, strategy. Someone could be coming up with a plan or trying to, like, thinking about a strategy. Thinking about driving over, coming over. Yeah, I'm just getting a lot of thinking here. You know, whoever takes on the masculine energy may interact with someone and they can't get this feminine off their mind. There's like this connection, this feeling that like it just... Someone can't stop thinking about here. So whoever that feels right for, you or the cross watcher. Because we know that cross watchers are watching. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and see the overall energy, please. For Aries and the person on their mind or who they're dealing with. Please. For Aries. You could have trouble with this person because you think very differently. You have different point of views. Could be... For some of you, like, different political point of views. Maybe, like, a big difference here. But you know what? Like, there's, there's the connection is strong or will be anyway. Can't ignore that. Someone may try, but whoa, you're not going to be able to stop thinking about whoever this is. Whoever this is. Or they won't be able to stop thinking about you. <laughs> we know how this goes. We All right. Um... Overall energy for Aries and the person on their mind, please. Okay, so the first thing that I'm hearing is it's like someone may have released something very good. Something of high value. Someone that could have brought a lot of good to their life. See somebody releasing themselves here, but looking back and being like, wow, that actually was a treasure. Because it's it's literally this is one of the best cards in the deck. This was a valuable thing that somebody do, was careless with. Because this is kind of like the fool energy. And I want to say that this person let this thing go. That's the current energy we have going on right now. Someone didn't see what they really have, how special this was. But I'm getting that this phase is now because she's looking back. So she's seeing now. Getting carelessness, something to let something go. I'm getting fun, happiness. Like the energy isn't bad, but I'm feeling very strongly that somebody was careless with something that was valuable. Or is being that way right right now and then you know once it's released once it's let go of it's like once it's dropped it's looking back at it like wow that was something it's like learning hindsight is what's that saying hindsight is 2020 that's what's going on right here in this energy is what i'm feeling all right so whoever that is you know whoever whoever how does this person currently feel about Aries, please? Someone here is flourishing, and the other person sees it, or will be. How does this person currently feel about Aries? How does this person currently... How do they currently feel about Aries? Um... 
know what? It's interesting because I feel like they view you as somebody who is stable, has a lot to offer. A lot of you may be financially doing well, have a good job type benefits. There's like just stability that comes with you. Um, but, but it's like four of cups. You're kind of like checked out, especially to building with someone. You know, it's kind of like you have your things, your stability on your own. But they feel like you're kind of, like they don't really know how to connect with you. Prince of Swords and Five of Swords. Um, They may watch you or observe your behavior. They still watch you, regardless of what's going on. Um, but I'm getting something about like watching. They're very conflicted about what they see when they watch you, when they observe you. The way you communicate maybe with other people. I don't know. I'm just getting like a... There's a conflict in, in them observing you. And again, they, they can't get to you. They can't reach you. But they want to. Or they did. Either, either, or. Alright, how does Aries currently feel about this person, please? How does Aries currently feel about this person? Oh, you could have had like a falling out with them. something very like drastic or dramatic this person's dramatic they do things um, they, they impacted you definitely they probably said something that really impacted you because I feel like this individual speaks kind of directly okay yeah all right I want to say you watch them you guys watch each other did you know that I mean you can say no no no, no. yeah yeah, 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 or you will. There's something about like keeping an eye on each other for some reason. All right, how does Aries currently feel about this person? <laughs> Ooh, you do not feel like it's safe to let your, you know, look at he's got a stick ready there. He's like, I am not playing. You feel their intensity. And you're also kind of giving it back. You're very guarded of this person. You don't, you know, take what they're saying lightly. How, how does Aries feel about this person? There's some sort of tension going on. With... King of Swords. Again, kind of, there's like this, almost like, uh... Not that you're battling, but there's like, like everyone's got their guns drawn here. King of Swords. This individual is, you think they're very smart. A lot can't get past them, but there is something very, the way that they talk. There's something in particular that they said to you that you're like, oh, well, bam. I mean, this is a very strong energy. They... Tell the truth. You know, this individual also, um, I get that they speak with purpose. They might be kind of quiet or otherwise. The high priestess. But they're very aware. Very spiritual or religious person. Uh, I'm getting some relevance about like Indian. So I don't know if they're like, if they're interested in, in that type of culture, the belief, or if they have Indian heritage of some sort. Um, but I, I'm just getting that their way of life, you're very aware of their way of life, their beliefs, how mentally powerful they are.
It's like they don't say a lot. I, I just keep feeling like that. They don't say a lot, but when they do speak, they speak very clearly, and they kind of can be a little bit harsh. But a lot of what they do is intuitive. So you could think about them. Like they could be on your mind type of deal. There's some relevance about the moon as well. I'm just getting that there could be... See, you, you, the high priestess. She's she's so eccentric. She's so different. Um, mysterious. There, you find them to be mysterious and guarded and, and I don't know. Interesting. But you also kind of see stability in them as well. But I, I feel like this is something you just think about on your own. You may not... You may not express this. There's a lot of like watching and not saying is is what I'm picking up on pretty much the whole energy. I just keep repeating it. So I think we're done here, Aries. Um, yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>